Hey. Hey. What's up, man? That man just feel like a million bucks a day, you know? At least two. <laughs> so we are called Sneaker Talk, so we can't, like, end today without talking about a couple of sneakers. Do you have one of you on? I have one, and my wife <laughs> has two. I'm I just... You I have Not sneakers. Boots, have... sneakers. We can call it boot sneaker talk. Yeah, okay. I'll go get the react. Yeah. Go get the react, too. I have two, um, but I'm only going to show yeah. I I say the other two for another episode. But I have okay. first show one, and it's actually one of my uh, my favorites. Yeah. Uh, as far as, like, overall. So my most unique shoe, when you asked me that question, was the power were the power lines. But this is one of my uh, favorites, just because the colors and just how it's overall, like the design, detail, and everything like that. They're a little smashed up, but you know, I mean, pretty clean. But you know, okay. I love those shoes. And uh, okay. so, let me see, D, Diana, are you still on? She's on. She's on. I wanted her to go. She had some stuff <clears> on, <throat> but she had a pair of sneakers and she had a pair of sandals and boots. So she brought her shoes down and showed it. But it would have been weird coming from me. Okay. <laughs> 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 but I'm gonna go ahead and show my one shoe, and then all right, let's go. you all have. All right. So I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna see if you actually know what they are. Number two. That's all I'm gonna say. Number two. You have a Jordan, then you have your number two in line, right? Oh, those are the um, the Pharrell human race. Yeah. My wife's like, oh my god, how you know? <laughs> That's a good one, man. I like that. Well, um, I love. I was actually wanted to present this last. Was that last show? Yeah, the last show, and we really didn't. Right, episode three. But, um, so I say I'll bring it out this time. But, um, just, it's just a little stuff. The shoestrings, how uh, yeah. the Adidas, three stripes. I just thought that was cool. Uh, one yeah. of the favorite parts about the shoe is the insole. You know about the insole? No, I don't. Show me. Uh, so the insole has different organs inside of it. So it has uh, the lungs, the heart, thyroid, stomach, diaphragm, kidneys bladder you name it it has it and i just thought that was cool so uh show to me up, like depending on how you step on the insole yeah that's the part of your body that gets affected by because you're stepping wrong you get what i'm saying what all right hold on what i don't know how shit is bro what are you talking I about man that's what, that's what they say anyway this is like the acupuncture thing for oh that is that is yeah, so you know, I, I just thought that was cool. It's actually comfortable. It's a comfortable shoe. Yeah. Like this sole is pretty. Um, has some cushion to it or whatever. I just and I love that it's the charcoal. Based on reflexology. Yeah. Okay. okay cool. Cool. And then. Um, thanks, Melissa. Yeah, thanks, Melissa. And it's like just how it changes. So you have the purple on this side, the orange on that side. So purple. Orange to stitch, kind of separate a little bit. Hey, we don't have to do it. So, um, a couple years ago, Anthony discussed uh, possibly, possibly like sitting down and discussing different things that we went through in our relationship. Mm -hmm. We really don't have to do it. I have tons of questions for you, too. <laughs> and I have like tons of questions, and then I think that could be encouraging to a lot of people out there. When we as as the the influencers actually start to use our influence, that's when real change starts to happen. You know, and I mean that from you know just like families and adults, and but I also mean it for like people that go to church. You know, like are you involved in your youth group? You know, are you involved in your small, you know, are, are you involved? You know, like, I feel like we can go so much further and it just takes people getting involved, you know? I can get but, involved in the youth at church. I'm not as involved, in, as involved as I am, but as soon as things settle down, Lord bless everything settle down, 
do. I, I have to hit the ground running. What this generation is doing is like, this generation is kind of like, hey, we're not having it. You know, we're not going to take it anymore. Right. You know, and then I feel like because of that, with the empowerment of having a voice on social media, it is affecting the older generation. Like, well, maybe, maybe we, maybe we can promote change because. You know, a lot of people now are like, well, it's, it's impossible to change. It's a, well, this younger generation hasn't been told no. And I don't mean that like, like they're bad or whatever, but like they've seen stuff that was impossible happen. Right. You know, like we're talking right now and you're in Florida and I'm in Georgia. Impossible. Right. You know, so you tell them, Oh, you can't do that. And they're like, watch me. watch me, you know? And I feel like this generation is really, you know, starting to say like, all right, we're going to be the change instead of talking about, you know, my parents talked about changing, but I'm the one that's going to be the change.